Warm weather brings new opportunities in air conditioning service, and it all starts with a system performance test. Performing that test is the topic of today's Mighty Minute. A common customer complaint when the weather turns warm is, my AC isn't blowing cold. But before you jump to the conclusion that it's just low and refrigerant, test the system performance first. Here's what you'll need to do the job. A set of manifold gauges for the refrigerant type you're connecting to. A thermometer to measure cabin outlet temperature. A thermometer to measure outside temperature in front of the condenser. You'll also need to know the relative humidity. That helps you determine the ambient temperature or the feels like temperature. Now this gauge has relative humidity built into it, but if yours doesn't, you can check with your local weather service. And keep in mind that it may not be 100% accurate to your specific location. Now while the basic testing procedure is the same from manufacturer to manufacturer, the requirements for how the vehicle is set up prior to the test can vary. So make sure that you check your service information system and you follow the procedures outlined for the vehicle that you're testing. In my case, I'm testing a 2013 Ram pickup. First, make sure the AC system is set for max AC. That is, the temperature is set to full cold, airflow is in the recirc mode rather than fresh air mode, and the blower is on high speed. Second, the engine needs to be at a steady 1000 RPM and at normal operating temperature. And finally, the doors and windows must be closed. That last step is one to make note of because some manufacturers require that you leave the doors wide open when conducting a system performance test. With the thermometers and gauges in place, we'll run the AC system until the temperature inside the truck is stable. At that point, we'll record the outlet temperature, the outside air temperature, the relative humidity, and of course, the low and high side pressure readings we obtained. Then it's back to our service information system. If the outlet temperatures and the pressures line up with the values that are specified, the system is working as designed and no further action is required. If not, we can use the probable cause chart to get further diagnostic direction. Now, for example, if my pressure readings are correct, but the air in the cabin is warmer than it should be, adding refrigerant isn't going to change that. Instead, I'm going to focus my efforts on looking at what could be impeding airflow across the evaporator. Maybe even suspect a dirty cabin air filter if the vehicle has one, and maybe blend door issues as well. Another strong possibility for this condition is too much oil or dye in the system. Excessive oil or dye can coat the insides of the heat exchangers and make it more difficult for the heat to transfer. Today's air conditioning systems are highly efficient and less tolerant of service mistakes than ever before. That's why your service processes have to be in line with the current OEM recommendations. Next time on the Mighty Minute, I'm gonna show you a couple of tests that you need to make before you test the customer's vehicle. And they'll go a long way in helping protect your equipment and you from harm. Thanks for watching.